uncomfortable with pushy salespersons that won't take no for an answer, then you'll likely be insulted when baited, hooked, held captive, and pressured to make an on-the-spot decision. Why would anyone feel the need to use such sales tactics? The incentives are likely by way of training, big sales commissions, greed, and desensitization of compassion for fellow mankind. Think this is a harsh take on timeshare sales tactics? You may think otherwise once you become a target or worse. Got taken to the bank and see no way out. Welcome to the Outback Retirement Channel. Glad to have you with us. Here at Outback Retirement, we know firsthand that long-term travel takes commitment, planning, and even a leap of faith. If your interests include a nomadic lifestyle of endless travel and you want to learn more, you are in the right place. So let us get started. It's very difficult to find anything good said about timeshares. If you do, it's likely to be a review given by an individual who got taken themselves. You've heard the saying, misery enjoys company. You know there's a lot of buyer's remorse when you hear all the ads for companies that help victims get out of their timeshare contracts. Obviously, if so many companies like this exist and make money to help timeshare owners get out of their contracts, it must be extremely miserable and difficult to get out of. With so much bad publicity of the timeshare industry so readily available just a few mouse clicks away, you'd think this would be a dying sales tactic and business model. You'd be very wrong. Estimates are the global vacation ownership timeshare industry market sales were $10.5 billion in 2023. Further estimates suggest sales may double within the next 10 years. The industry economic impact in the U.S. alone was $73.1 billion in 2023. With numbers like this, it's hard to deny success or positive economical impact. Obviously, small business owners in resort towns like the additional tourist income. Local governments love the additional tax revenue. Local residents love the new job opportunities. And politicians benefit from promised local economical growth and infrastructure improvements that came true once new resorts came to town. To be perfectly fair, there are tons of benefits the industry brings with it. Unfortunately, all this success and prosperity comes at a cost to membership owners. And let's be clear on that. When you buy into a timeshare, you are a membership owner, not a property owner or investor. Timeshare salespersons, of course, are likely to say all who bought into memberships did so willingly. While technically they'd be correct, it would be difficult to defend the ethically questionable intensive sales pressure tactics it seems most of them use. As an example, I'm going to share my recent encounter experience. My wife and I were visiting a touristy town walking from our hotel to find a place to eat when we were approached by another couple. Friendly enough and all smiles, they at first just appeared to be interested in our story and what brought us to town. They slowly transitioned into a conversation about a great local resort we should check out. Sensing some guarded apprehension from us, the gentleman said, Don't worry, we're not trying to sell you anything. And they didn't, because they were the baiters. And their bait was one free prize card for each of us. That was our first clue. No one gives out something for nothing. One card identified us as winners of a resort logoed baseball cap which we were given immediately. The second was a scratch-off card guaranteeing we were the winners of either a new iPhone, seven free nights stay at the resort, or $250. The deal was if we followed them to the nearby resort for a 60-minute sales presentation, we would receive one of the prizes on the spot regardless of if we bought a membership or not. We told them we were not interested. We were hungry and headed to lunch. 
He said they would feed us at the resort, in addition, handed us a voucher for a free meal at a top-notch signature restaurant right across the street to enjoy a wonderful dinner later. He said they'd appreciate this because they got paid $50 for every potential customer they brought in. So a free cab ride later, we arrived at the resort where the baiters wished us well and went off to fish some more. Here we met the softener. It was apparent their job was to make us feel at ease so we would let our guard down a bit as they acted super interested in our family, our story, and our travel plan. Soon they transitioned into a soft sales pitch with wonderful fairy tale fantasies like five and six star resort stays, luxury cruises, and scenic train adventures and all could be had for a one-time 25-year membership purchase and a yearly maintenance fee of $1,200. However, they sidestepped multiple inquiries about membership costs or other term lengths. They offered no brochures, contract review, or written summary of benefits or costs. All was handwritten before us on a paper pad, a rather complex system involving points, resort and affiliate programs and free seven nights per year by spending 165 points earned yearly once the maintenance fee was paid. My thought was $1,200 for seven nights doesn't sound free to me. By this point the 60 minute presentation had turned into two and a half hours and we were worn out ready to go and told them we were no longer interested because we didn't see value in the program. They told us they were not allowed to let potential customers walk away without following through on the entire presentation. Feeling held captive, yet curiosity set in about what the bottom line was. We were taken to the closer. The softener explained to them we didn't see value in a membership to which they acted shocked. I said I can't possibly calculate value when I don't know membership links or cost. They revealed the shortest term was a 10-year membership for $13,000, meaning those seven free nights now cost $2,500 once you factor in membership price and maintenance fees over 10 years. That equals $357 a night, meaning members would likely feel obligated to bring down the high nightly average cost lower by chasing down hot deals and special bargains all over the world in places they would otherwise not want to go nor spend that kind of money. Seeing there was no way I could write a check out for $13,000 on the spot without some time to sleep on it, his response was, who writes checks anymore? We wouldn't take all your money today anyway. Feeling tired and insulted, we decided it was time to walk away. We did receive a free hat and a presentation lunch. We were given the voucher and dinner was terrific. We did register for the free seven nights at the resort we won on the scratch-off card, but later decided we'd rather not subject ourselves to seven days and nights of intense sales pressure. Three hours was more than enough. So some key signs you're being targeted are aggressive bait, hook, hold captive, and pressure to decide on the spot sales tactics. No written contract and or terms of service offered during the presentation or to take home to review before committing. Websites also provide no terms or pricing. They ask you to enter contact information so you'll likely be progressively pursued. Perhaps not all timeshare sales teams or salespersons use these aggressive tactics. Although these types of horror stories are all over the internet, it's also possible that some membership owners are happy with their decision. However, it's obvious by all the timeshare exit help companies in existence that many members felt overly pressured, tricked into signing up, demeaned, humiliated, embarrassed, and desperate to get out of what they feel was a huge financial nightmare of a mistake. It's 
both a mystery and a shame that an industry that provides such incredible positive economic impact to communities around the world feel they must use this type of sales tactic. There must be a better way, like maybe treating potential customers with respect and dignity. Until then, seller be shamed and buyer beware. If you found value in this video, please hit like. If you want to ensure you do not miss future videos, please hit subscribe. If you know others who might be interested in this type of content, please hit share. Thank you for watching. Hope you will join us again.